something else I need to tell you about that I couldn't tell you about before. Yeah, you see, you're more than just my patient. Dad. Yeah, you're my son. Dad. And Daddy wants you to know that everything is going to be all right. Okay? I love you. Jason, I know that today is just a little different, but you are going to get used to it. Believe me. You had quite a morning, didn't you? We got out of the hospital. We went bye-bye in the car. And you got to be in the back seat all by yourself. What? What is that, huh? You're going to get used to that, too. Believe me, in fact, Jason and Daddy, we're going to be quite a team. You want that bear? You want that bear to be on our team? Let's go see the bear. Not that? Okay. Let's go see the bear. right into my throat. Oh, sure it did. So I ran right down here to be with you, sweetheart. Well, a phone call would have been just fine. I'm so relieved that you're okay and that your babies are fine. You must have been so scared. Yep. Now, why don't you get better? You hear me? I care about you. Our little, uh, plan to keep Reva away from Josh is working on that bad. Just need your help a little bit more. One word. What was I going to say? I am finished doing your dirty work. Dirty? I think we have different ideas on what's dirty like. I'm only asking you to look into Ross's files one more time like you did before. I'm not asking you to steal anything. Go away. Blake, please, don't be like that. Uh, I just need to know what that cameo looked like. You know, the one that Sarah gave that baby when she put it up for adoption? I'm not doing one thing for you, not one damn thing. You better think about this, honey. There's nothing to think about, honey. My husband knows the truth. The truth? My babies. My boys. He knows that Rick is Kevin's father. He knows everything. Ross find out. What difference does it make? It makes all the difference in the world. Like, d did you deny it? Of course you denied it. You couldn't tell the truth you to Ross. You know what, Annie? I admitted it. I admitted everything. I don't know what to say to you. That's great. Suits me fine. Why don't you just shut the door? Please, please, like, don't, don't, don't be like this. I was just trying to help you. Okay, I mean, that's what friends do to each other. Don't you be friends in the same sense with me. You were so lucky I don't get out of this bed and throttle you. Why are you so mad at me? Where do you want me to start, Annie? I've only told you this much because I want you to understand why you have nothing to hold over me anymore. I never wanted you to do anything that would make you feel oh, uncomfortable. Please. You blackmailed me with no. a secret about my twin. No, I didn't. I just asked you to do me a favor. Yes, you made it so clear that you were going to go to Ross with the truth if I didn't do what you wanted me to do. I thought we understood each other. My marriage to Josh means everything oh, to me. Oh, God. And to hell with everyone else, right? I can't, I can't believe it. What you got me to do for you. I just can't believe it. I must have been half out of my mind. And you know what? You never stopped. You never stopped. You kept at me. 
And next thing you're going to tell me is that I was the cause of your accident. Annie, I was a nervous wreck when I got into that car because of the things that you had gotten me to do. I can't believe this. You're blaming me. You know, I wasn't going to take it anymore. The only way I was going to feel good about myself and my marriage was to tell the truth. So I was on my way to Ross's office to tell him, but I never got to. I lost the one chance I had to tell my husband the truth. One of my boys almost died, and now I have lost Ross. Blake, you... I realize that you are upset, but I don't understand how you can blame me for all of this. Andy, you, you got to stop this. you just got to stop game-playing with Reva's life, and you got to start telling Josh the truth. Otherwise, you are going to lose him. No. That's not going to happen, because it can't. He's the only thing that I have in this world. How did I know that you weren't going to listen to me? Get out of here! Everything else. You putting your name, your fortune, everything Would you on the line. Stop it. Stop it. Sit down. Drink your coffee before it gets cold. But I never wanted to drag you into all of this. You didn't drag me into this. I dragged me into this. I have a habit of doing that in your life. What? Have you noticed that? It's got to stop. Why? The money? The money for your bail? As soon as the trial's over, you're cleared, I get the money back. Well, plus interest, right? Yeah. <laughs> and your name, my name, I would... I mean, who am I? Still Buzz Cooper? Same person everybody knows and hates or loves or doesn't care about? No harm, no foul? Well, perhaps not at the moment, but as soon as Jeffrey finds us, there may be a great deal of harm. Well, Jeffrey should have his hands full with the Dallas police by now, right? Oh, he'll talk his way out of that in a matter of seconds. You're probably right. That was pretty flimsy. And he will find us, whether it's sooner or later. He will find us. He's a very determined man. Determined as in dangerous? I don't think it's a good idea if we stay here, actually. No, I think it's a terrific idea if you stay here. No, I, I don't think it is. Look, if Jeffrey's stupid enough to show up again, I'll be here. And you, me, and the little guy upstairs, we've done great so far. I think we can handle anything he throws our way. It's going to be no sweat. Buzz, why are you really doing this? That's not the way it's going to work out. You and Ross and the babies are not the only thing that count in this world, Blake. Annie, you are obsessed. First it was alcohol, then it was pills, and now it's Josh. You know, I know something about obsessive behavior. I know how destructive it can be. You're wrong. You're going to destroy everything you have, everything you love, and you're going to bring it all down around you, just like I did. Who am I talking to here? Marler. It was a fool. That woman ruined her life. No! That woman would never give up. That woman would fight for what she has. And, and even if she thought that it was an impossibility, she'd go right out after it, Blake. It is impossible. No, come on, stop that. Stop it. I'm not going to let you give up. Do you hear me? We are going to fight this. It, it's going to take some planning, but we're going to be able to... Shut up! Just shut up. We're not doing anything. How about I go to Ross? I'll explain Annie? to him. You go to oh, Ross. I'm going to I'm going to make your life a living hell. You're not... You're not serious about that. Oh, I've never been more serious in my life. See, honey, I've got nothing left to lose. You wouldn't go to Josh and tell him what I'm up to? No. You, you wouldn't do that. Maybe I wouldn't. But then again, maybe I would. Why 
why you care enough to put your name and everything you've got on the line for me like this. You don't, do you? Well, let's just say you're a damsel in distress and I had to rust your rescue, you know. Shining armor sure looks good on you. Well. You're a true prince. Henry and I are so lucky to... You're so lucky to... Um... Well, I was going to say that we're so lucky to have you in our lives, but that would be presuming. Why? Because you're not in our lives. We're passing through. Well, you're not passing anywhere until you get Jeffrey out of your lives. He's not going to let me go. Oh, I think so. Maybe he will. We'll make him an offer he can't refuse, you know. Both, I'm so sorry I got you wrapped up in this. Oh, uh, would you stop kicking yourself? Concentrate on what's important to the little guy upstairs. He's your happiness. He's your life. He is. And you're his. He's lucky to have you for a mum. Buzz. Uh, there's something you ought to know, which, which I haven't, um, well, I haven't been able to really find the way to. That's weird. Nobody knows we're here. Uh. Frank. You look so serious. What's up? How'd you know we were here? It's my job to know. Get your drinks, Jenna. Frank, what is this police stuff about? It's me. Talk to me. The only person I need to talk to is Jenna. What is this about? A violation? Is that what this is about? Springfield PD got a call from Dallas. Oh, really? From whom? It was anonymous. Jeffrey. Who else? Yeah, huh? who else? Who else? Frank, he's bad news. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. Frank, come on! Don't you get this? It was fine when it was between us. Now it's public knowledge about Jenna's bail violation. And now that that's happened, I have new to no choice, Dad, okay? All right, it's the law, and it's my job. Frank, come here. Look. Go back to the police station, tell them it was all a mistake, that we've been in town all the time, and a phone call was a phony. I can't do that, Dad. Well, it's not the phone call, is it? Frank just doesn't trust me, do you, Frank? No, I can't say I do, John. You already skipped once. You could do it again. But I won't. Let me tell you something. My dad might buy your act, but I don't. I don't believe this. Frank. You hear that little baby up there? This is my son. Don't, don't make me leave him, please. Your son? I'm sorry. Oh, I'll go get him. I'll get him. Get him. Get, him. get, him. get your thanks. I'll get your coat. Thank you. You want to check my bag, too, Frank? No, it's fine. Thank you. Hey. He's okay. I can handle it. He'll be okay. It doesn't sound like a mouth. Mama, 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 be right back. Mama, be right back. Mama, be right back. Looking for a cameo, circa 1950. Right. You have one, don't you? Oh, I have several cameos. Indeed, I do. Great. It's a gift for my favorite aunt. I have a couple that date back to 1850. Well, that sounds pricey. I'm looking for the low to middle price range. Uh, um, I do have one or two that enjoy a certain popularity. Oh, fabulous. May I see? Of course. 
Uh, so, uh, the one that seems to appeal the most has the uh, beigey peach background. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like raised, that one. Raised, raised ivory profile. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, comes with the marcasite border. Oh yeah. Or oh. the blue. Oh, I like both of them. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, there's another customer I should uh, take care of. Oh, of course. I'll just take a look at these if you don't mind. Good. Take your time. Okay. Surprise Annie, you know, and take her out to lunch or something. Do you know if the uh, AA meeting is let out yet? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. I was just outside when it ended, but uh, Annie wasn't there. At least I don't think so, no. She wasn't. I saw everybody come out. Well, she must have changed her mind then. Yes, yeah. I guess so. Y you know what? I'm glad I ran into you. Uh, I've been meaning to stop by your office and apologize. What on earth for? Well, I've been meaning to come along with Annie to uh, her appointments, but, you know, things come up. Yeah, to her uh, her examinations. I've been remiss, but I, I plan from here on in to uh, take a much more active role in the pregnancy. I'm going to do all those things that dads to be are supposed to do. But I haven't seen Annie in months. I didn't even know she was pregnant. What? Oh, excuse me. Oh, I've got to take this. Sorry. Good afternoon from News Channel 3, I'm Nancy Ross. The body of a missing Rowan County woman has surfaced in a Carolina river. A rape victim turns the tables on her attacker, and the cost of your morning brew is going up sooner and higher. Join us tonight at 5. <laughs> 